Here we are, just doing a quick comparison of the two gimbals we use. On the right hand side is the Fairtech G5 version 2 and on the left hand side is the Rider, Z, sorry, the Z1 Rider. Let's do a quick wander around and running the same camera on both. Just wander around the garden, which is looking a little bit messy at the moment. Needs a bit of a tidy up, but never mind. Let's have a quick wander around and see how they perform. Now we're looking at the Fairtech G5 2.0. As you can see from this, the controls are all on the back. It has a joystick-like function that enables you to spin around. This one will spin around a full 360 degrees. And you can spin the other way horizontally and again it will spin a full 360 degrees so it is more advanced than the Z1 Rider it also has a selfie mode press the button and it turns around so that you can briefly talk to camera let go of the button and it goes back to where it was it has a follow me mode and it has a lock mode where if you move the gimbal handle the camera will stay focused on whatever you've got both of them do the same thing as far as that's concerned one of the interesting things about Fairtech gimbal is that it can be controlled by phone and you can automatically set the camera to pan so that means you can set the camera up somewhere and do a very slow pan and I think it will pan up to an hour. So it can do a very slow pan if you want to do a landscape or try to do some shooting of stars. If uh, you have a camera that's suitable for that, the Hero 3 Plus isn't really suitable for doing low light. That sometimes when you're panning, the camera will jump you notice it does, you've got to be careful of not hitting the handle. It does actually hit the handle quite readily. And I'm not getting any indication of it jumping at the moment, unfortunately. 
but a lot of times it will gradually if it's, especially if it's in follow me mode it will gradually go off to one side and you don't want it to the fair tech is handy in that it will support itself if you just put it down with the end on a flat surface you don't need to have a tripod whereas with the Z1 Rider it doesn't have a handle automatically on it the handle that's attached is actually a tripod that came with the Fairtech. Just having a little look at the functionality of the Z1 Rider uh, it's controlled of course by a separate handset cable runs to it it is able to tilt although why they decided to make it tilt like this instead of to spin around I'm not sure the other option with it is to raise and lower it although it is incapable of going more than 90 degrees up or 90 degrees down so a total range of 180 degrees with that one it is unable to spin itself around as with most gimbals it, can, it has a follow me mode and it has a lock mode but that's about it, there's not much more that that one can do it does seem to be smooth when we're moving around and it does do a pretty good job